I think it is safe to assume we all know the atmosphere is heated unequally. We get very high temperatures in our equatorial areas and very low temperatures as we get closer to the poles. But this heat doesn't stay there forever. It moves and that is what we'll be looking at today. Before we move on, let's recap how solar radiation impacts the heating of the atmosphere. The word insulation means incoming solar radiation. And this radiation from the sun is going to hit our earth and it's going to affect the temperatures depending on the latitude. So the insulation that is hitting the equatorial areas hits at a direct angle, it covers a much shorter distance and it's going to be concentrated over a much smaller area. Whereas as we move towards the poles, this insulation covers a much larger area, it travels a much longer distance and it hits the earth at an oblique angle. And this is essentially the reason why we have very high temperatures in the equatorial areas and very low temperatures at the poles. In an area where more radiation is received than lost, we call that an area of surplus. Whereas in an area where there is more radiation lost than received, we call that an area of deficit. Like I said earlier, the atmosphere is heated unequally. Our equatorial areas have low latitudes and these are areas of surplus, meaning that more radiation is received than lost. The poles, on the other hand, are areas of high latitude and these are areas of deficit, where more radiation is lost than received. I also said earlier that this heat is transferred. It moves and the two main agents that are moving this heat are water masses and air masses. In other words, the winds and ocean currents are transferring this energy from places of surplus in our equatorial regions to areas of deficit in our polar regions. This transfer of heat maintains the Earth's energy balance. Let's talk about ocean currents. Ocean currents can either originate at the equator or at the poles. Now we've just learned that equatorial areas have higher temperatures and polar areas have lower temperatures. This means that our warm ocean currents originate at the equator and our cold ocean currents originate at the poles. A similar concept happens with winds. Winds from warmer latitudes transfer heat to colder latitudes and vice versa. This is essentially where planetary winds come from, which is another important term you need to remember. A planetary wind is a wind blowing from one latitude to the other. And the direction of a planetary wind is determined by the solar radiation as well as the rotation of the Earth. And that is the introduction of Earth's energy balance. Be sure to watch my following videos as we talk about the movement of air and really go into a deeper understanding of global air circulation. I'll see you then.